Hello guys and welcome to episode 2 of my Empire Total War campaign playing as Prussia going for world domination. Previously we managed to take Dresden, Dangst and Warsaw very very early in our campaign and today I'm going to be trying to solidify the area around Warsaw and then move towards the lands that Poland-Lithuania has remaining. So probably towards Vilnius, we'll go towards Lvov and Minsk over here. Just try and take all of this, knock Poland-Lithuania out of the game completely. And then from there, we can probably head north, I think, towards Sweden. That's most likely going to be the next target. And then if I have another army free, maybe we can go for Austria as well. Uh, but they are starting to build up a little bit down here. They've got an army in Breslau. And they've got an army just outside of it. So I am going to have to keep an eye on my southern border. Uh, we might want to upgrade or repair Dresden this turn. So let's just do that. That way we can actually recruit here as well. Because I'm probably just going to keep forcing recruitment all over the shop. That's kind of the plan. I probably want to merge these and we'll just like recruit more dudes constantly and keep these on the move. Uh, but for now, I guess we'll just grab this army and we'll head over here towards Warsaw. Although I kind of need to stay in Dresden to sort out public order. I guess I could technically exempt them, but I don't know how many troops I could take out. If I leave, like, the pikemen here, will that be okay? Yeah, that would be okay. Although, is it worth keeping the tax on? Or maybe. Because 617 is actually quite a lot every turn. What else could I leave in there? Maybe the gendarmerie. I might help out a little bit. Maybe my leader, he's kind of trash. Could leave him behind. That didn't really make much of a difference, though. All right, we'll take him with us. <laughs> I think what we do is we just recruit maybe a couple of militia and then some line infantry. So I don't really want to recruit all of that there because I don't have enough to just force recruitment in every province since we can recruit over here, which I'm probably going to do. Uh, getting some Lancer Cav would probably be a nice idea in Warsaw. And um, we get some like militia there as well, just to help hold that. I'm probably going to pick up some line infantry up in Königsberg. Great. So that'll probably do. I could just pick up another militia here, I think, and we'll pop that into Dresden. That is going to use up all of our cash, but I think it's worth it. All right, so we'll move these guys over here. And we'll have this army follow us. They can come out of Berlin. And they can travel on over. Uh, these fellas, I'm going to try and merge some of those. And I'm going to send this maybe back to Königsberg. So that they can replenish. And we'll have this one move over this way as well. I do want to take out these two armies. But I also kind of want to leave enough in Warsaw for it not to be a problem. Because otherwise they're going to keep running around our lands raiding. Uh, actually, speaking of which, I probably want to repair these, especially the school here. So I'll take them out. And oh, I'm just out of range. That's sad. And maybe I could move up here and use my general to attack. Because technically, the general's faster. Or maybe the cav. There we go. Perfect. That way I can repair both of these. Uh, let's just drop that extra unit of militia and we'll use the repair cost on the college because getting a second technology going is going to be pretty good. I could put that straight into canister shot once it's fixed up and then I can just focus on finishing off something else here after we get ring bayonet. Yeah, perfect. All right, so we're already doing pretty well. Uh, that guy's staying where he is. Don't have anything else to worry about, do I? 
Uh, maybe my spy. We could move him over here just to go and see what's going on. He can just scout for us, pretty much. What's this other agent that I have? Oh, he's my gentleman. Okay, that's fine. All right, with that done, I think that's everything done for our turn, so we'll move on to the next turn. Austria really is building up, and they are going to declare war on me. Crikey, that is a lot of allies. Nobody joined them. That's good. <laughs> but we are in trouble. Because that is a big old force. Interesting. So I'm going to have to consolidate my forces in order to deal with this. The other thing that I do kind of want to do is grab some merchant ships. And go for some of the trade early on. Oh, Bavaria is also declaring war on me. Okay. Well, our trade agreement with Prussia is gone. So there's that. So they've got a bunch of provincial cav here. What's this army comprised of? Uh, not too much. Okay. Well, I'm going to have my spy go over here. Now, I wanted to see what kind of army was being built. Because I probably want to take this out ASAP. And finish off Poland Lithuania. I can use these guys to take out this army. I can potentially use this army to kill off this slot at Breslau. And then we can use these two to attack Prague and take that. Dresden's kind of happy. Yeah, they, they seem okay. Warsaw's not going to be happy, but as long as I keep using my money to recruit more like militia and line infantry, I think we'll be all right. We can probably defend that against the rebellion. But I think first things first, we continue with our attack towards Vilnius. We're gonna fix that up. We're gonna probably send the Ulhans to help us out here. Or Ulans. Are they called Ulans or Ulhans? Well, I think it's Ulans. Um, yeah. So we will grab those together. And I'm going to start moving towards this chap. And we'll bring over these. And we'll attack. Alright. And I'm probably going to play this out because I think that will avoid more losses than the auto resolve. So let's jump on in. Yeah, after this battle, it looks like we're actually in a pretty good spot with this War of Austria. My only concern is that the small little army that's in the south from Poland Lithuania might come up and take their settlement back, but that's okay. I think the priority right now is really just destroying all of the big armies that the AI is building, because that is really, really drains the AI of money. Um, although they kind of have infinite money because AI thinks. But regardless, uh, this is terrible weather for us. We will... I guess it doesn't matter that much. Our troops are so superior that I think like in melee we just beat them regardless. So I'm going to pull back. We're going to get my cannons set up here. We'll pop two on one side. Uh, we'll do that and this one on the other. Uh, I need to do it like so. Uh, these can stand behind. Uh, we've got all our cav here as well. We're just going to just chill further back. Alright. So we actually have some 
Lance a Cav early on, which is very cool. I might just hide them in the trees, actually. Yeah, we'll keep these ones at the back because they might send something around the right. Right, shoot that, General Bodyguard. And they all missed. <laughs> Classic. If I could get on top of these, that would be fantastic. But I'm not sure I'm going to be able to. I'm going to fire at the cannons. At their cannons. Not because I feel like I can hit or kill their cannons. It's more so that I hit the cavalry behind. they moved. That is unfortunate. Like I could in theory just fire in the general direction of this cavalry every time. But I think they are on purpose firing at my cannons. Surprised cannons can even fire in this kind of weather. Keeping the powder dry, imagine. Absolutely pouring down. Oh, that didn't even kill anyone. Having a laugh. Okay, I think we just kind of shift and start moving forwards. Um, and we can just keep this firing at something. I'll just target the cannons specifically and maybe we'll kill one. And meanwhile, we'll just start moving forwards. The cannons haven't hit anything yet at all. <laughs> We'll shift these around to the left. My general can come around over here as well. At least there's a chance that we'll hit the general. Again, that didn't kill anyone. <laughs> These shots have been so lucky. That one foot regiment over there, I'm kind of tempted actually to have this provincial cav move back over and then we can like charge them in the back. these are now maybe trying to target my infantry which is why they constantly hit the ground because there is a little bit of a, a hill here I'm going to run these into position because they are moving their cavalry we're going to fire at directly. It's firing. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> we should have an advantage here, big time.
Faking out this horse unit early on would be really good for us. Okay, that provincial cav isn't doing too well. Clean him up. I'll do. Get them back. We have pretty much fully routed them. Only two men left. Fantastic. Are we going to keep moving up on this side? I'm going to bring my cavalry around ready to help out. Keep moving these up. Get my pikemen to move up in the centre. Cav can start moving around on the flank now. And we're going to want to keep firing in this direction with the cannons. Well, that was close. <laughs> so many of these cannon balls are like, they're so close. <laughs> the AI's been so lucky. <laughs> if I can get up on the flank here, that'd be actually fantastic. See if they'll let me. I'm just gonna walk forwards and we're gonna into range of these boys. Hmm. Like, I think it'd probably be better if I just put bayonets on and charge. Because then I can easily get around the flank. Like if we're engaged in melee with them Take off guard there. We can get these to get ready to charge in the back, which would be devastating. Honestly, I could go for the general with the Ulhans or Ulans, or I could just get behind this. I think we'll just go for the charge. Because technically, these are Lancer Cav, right? So, we actually do do a lot of damage in the charge. Oh, okay, they actually turned around on us. Good, we're making that one route. Finish off these pikemen. I think we we'll assume we're gonna probably just charge this from both sides. Let's go! Right. 
Planks exposed. Yep. <laughs> That's what they're concerned about. Oh, that cavalry charge is big as well. Damn, they are getting absolutely wrecked. Yeah, that unit is just a goner. I really love how in older Total War games you clean up units so fast and it's going to be big. I really need to do this though. Oh, I thought my game crashed for a second there. <laughs> but yeah, that was a big charge as well. Gonna lose some cab. Come on, they got a break. Nice, we've got another charge in. Great. Okay, good. Taking them out. Kill them off. I'm just going to get my line infantry to charge him. Go on, men. Finish him off. I'm not going to let him kill my general. That's, uh... No, no, no. No, thank you. Don't want you to do that. Let's just charge my cab in there so we get him engaged. We're not just, like... Wheeling around in a circle. Take them out, boys. Take them out. There we go. That's the general dead. And that is GG. Alright. Another heroic victory. I think every battle so far has been a heroic victory. Perfect. All right, well, we'll take that. Uh, I do need to take out this army as well. I'm not quite sure. I think we'll do this, and I guess everything else is fine. We can't merge anything else. Captain Kidd. The notorious buccaneer William Kidd has finally been brought to justice on five counts of piracy and murder. Unfortunately, miscalculations on the part of the hangman meant Kidd had to be hanged a second time as his body weight broke the first rope, but now his gibbet swings in the breeze overlooking the Thames, an example to would-be pirates everywhere. Despite this, there remain some who mutter darkly that Kidd's honour remains intact, that he is innocent and that his fate was sealed when he tangled with the Machiavellan men of the East India Company. We may never know for sure what the way the truth lies, as we may never be certain where Kid's fabled hoard of priceless treasure is buried. All right, well, there's that. Um, I think we just go back to Warsaw for now. Like, unless... I could, in theory, take these two and attack Prague, right? So that would be gendarmerie, pikemen, and two sets of line infantry versus like four units. And they're technically Protestant, so they wouldn't mind me doing that. Although Bavaria is right here, and they also declared war on me. So I'd have to be careful about a counterattack. But we could definitely, I feel, take this if we used both armies. Can't get close enough though. This turn to do that. Oh, this got completely destroyed. It would almost be better to just dismantle it.
And the thing is with this army is it does have six units of line infantry, and this is all provincial cav. So, in theory, we should be fine because cav doesn't really do too well charging straight into line infantry, especially provincial cav. But there is a lot of it, and if it got a bit overwhelming, that would be a problem. But I think, yeah, I think this army goes back to Warsaw. I'm going to jump all of these into Warsaw. Reason being is public order, mainly. I'm not going to recruit anything just yet, because I need to make sure I have units where I need them. So, yeah, we'll take this lot. And we'll attack Prague. We can demand their surrender. Okay, we'll auto resolve that. Thank you very much. And I'll fix it up quick. How are they doing for public order? I don't mind actually too much. I'm going to do a militia here. We're going to do a line infantry in Berlin. Over in Warsaw. I think I'm going to grab a line infantry. And I might need another one up here. And that looks scary, but it's not really. It's going to take a while to change this to Catholic, isn't it? Yeah. It's going to take a long time for that public order to go down. I'm going to fix that one up. Uh, did I not leave the small unit behind? No, I didn't. Oops. I guess it's okay. I'm gonna fill that unit out. All right, let's do it. We'll attack Bristol. And in theory, we should be able to win this. If there's a bridge or something, it'll be easy peasy. This guy is a good general. Blimey. Alright, let's jump on in. Won't be so good when he's dead. <laughs> let's take him out. Oh, it's a fort. Oh. It's not necessarily the worst thing in the world. Because we with Cav, it's actually pretty good. We just gotta get our cannons into a good spot. Otherwise, this is gonna be over very fast. Uh let's see. We will go over here, I think. Alright. I think that's okay. Uh, maybe here is kind of better. I need to be in range of the walls. It's as far around as I can go, isn't it? This is kind of rough terrain for us. is as far as I can go to the right. I think over here is best. And technically I can still hit the walls if I target in front of them. It's just going to take a little bit longer because they won't all hit. So I think what we'll do is we'll make a breach and then we will we'll go from there. Keep this boy behind the rain. Okay. Yeah, 
Oh, we need to go and take them out. All right, let's uh, actually let's send forwards my elite guys up here. We can go take them out ASAP. I could also send my general, but that's probably not a good idea. Oh, these cannons on the walls really doing them work. I need to take down that wall ASAP on the left side there, because that's going to really do us in. Uh, stop for a sec. They charge my first line, then that's actually okay. Oh, they came in from behind. Didn't even see that. Where the hell did they come from? Oh, the reinforcements are coming in from the side. All right, we're gonna do something about that. Gonna get my general to come in here and help out. I can't let all of these plug their bayonets, but we'll let these boys do it. How are we doing on that wall? Getting there. And as long as we win this, like it doesn't really matter how many losses we take. We'll get my general back out of there because that's not a good place for him to be. Oh, especially if we're coming under fire from our own dudes. I mean, it's actually okay that we're firing at them. Because they're all kind of higher than my dudes are, so technically we're not going to shoot many of them in the back. Oh, I missed this one. <laughs> I'm really not doing too well at keeping an eye on this side. Uh, let's just tell them to break their formation and uh, melee mode and then go. A lot of that camp's dead. Alright, so we've got some regiment of foot coming in. Oh, there's, there's a pikeman, so it's not so much of a problem. Uh, those are all dead, that's good. I didn't plug those bayonets, so that's even better. Uh, we did make a hole already. There is a breach, so that's good. Uh, can we... Well, we got them off the walls, so that's the start. I'm going to have these just go charge down the cannons. And these can just move forwards and start shooting the pikemen. Uh, meanwhile, I do kind of want to shoot the other wall as well. And my general should not chase those. If I don't have to engage these, then I shouldn't. We'll wheel away from them. We want to keep close enough that we can keep shooting. Alright, plug your bayonets, boys. We're going in.
Oh, uh, we already had plugged bayonets here, I think, so... Hopefully we can win that fight. Well, we kind of like cut off the reinforcements here, which is good. Uh, we might get shot in the back. Yep, let's move. That's good. Killed all of those off. Alright, we'll charge those into the cannons. I'm gonna have my general move over this side so that he can run down these guys when they break because they'll most likely break pretty soon. There's no way they can sustain fire from two regiments. This is going to be quite tough to actually take though. There's still a lot of stuff we got to kill. This unit's actually been fantastic. My 13th Regiment of Foot. I'm just hoping that they can finish off these guys. They're currently struggling. Mm, looks like I might break first. I'm going to pull away from that engagement. Oh, well, never mind. I was just praising them. So they decided to completely fail me. Alright, they need them to rout. There we go. Now we can just get my general to finish them off. Balance of power is still in their favour, but it's a bit more towards us than it was at the start. Still got three regiments that can fire, so that's good. We pushed them off the cannons as well, so that's good. I just need to finish off these. And if we can take down that other wall, that would be great. We'll at least push them off the wall. If they don't move, they'll die. Go on fire. <laughs> okay. Well, that wasn't as good as I hoped it would be. But uh, we'll just smack the rest of those guys to death. Lovely. Right, take out the cannons. Good. And the nice thing about running these down is like that's going to get rid of the reinforcing army completely. Those guys are sorted, so now we're going to set up our kill box around the walls. Good old, old time strategy this is. And we'll coax them out to fight us. If I have to push in, I'm pretty sure I lose.
I've got to find a way in which I can force them out. Looks like that might have done it. I guess the big thing is like if I can get some shots to like land inside and start chipping the militia and stuff. That would be good. Okay, they're actually coming out. I need these to charge in. Well, this will be another, you know, cab down at least. I'm going to line these up in front of the gate just in case they try and do that again. I think I'm gonna have this cannon fire at the the corner wall there so that these guys get off it. Because they are kind of chipping my men a bit. I don't like that. team up on these boys poking their head out carve them down in the gap there if I can bring this below 50 I think they'll run off it really stop sitting up there I'm just going to speed it up a little bit. This is going to take a little while. Maybe they won't leave. On 50% now. I'm going to keep shooting it. These dudes are getting chewed early but surely.
That's 95%. I don't know really what happens when it hits 100 as the whole thing just collapses. It's been a long time since I've had to do this. Oh, okay. Well, just the end of it collapsed. Not too helpful. I guess in theory I could, like, climb up on the left here. I could also just shoot them off the top. We killed every single man in that squad. Yikes. Alright, uh, we're gonna point the cannons here. I don't know if that's actually gonna be able to go through the gap and hit something, but we'll give it a go. Shoot them off the wall, I think. Yeah. Are they selling forth? I get. We get a shot in there. I'm gonna pull these back again. Oh, keep running. <laughs> I can probably charge in with these guys. Because they have bayonets on, so the charge will be pretty good. If I line these guys up on the side, we can shoot a bunch of them in the side. Too bad. Uh, these guys are taking a quite a bit of damage. If I pull back and get some clean shots in. If I let the other regiment get in line, it's going to be pretty big. get a full volley from these chaps. Oh boy. <laughs> yep, there we go. <laughs> and charge back in. Yeah, I guess I can just let them get shot to pieces. I could get my general to come over here. Oh, he's miles away. Not sure they're going to come back anyway. But that's the last good unit that they have, right? Technically, I could probably just go into melee from here on. And I'd be fine. Looks like we're going to get some clean shots onto this firelock arm citizenry, so we'll go for that. Oh boy. <laughs> when the volleys hit hard and you just see men drop, can't help but like just feel like that's a, that's a big oof, you know? That hurt. 
Mm, this charge isn't ideal. Um, let's go ahead and get stuck in. I'm gonna let this one stand on the side. Okay, perfect. Alright, I'll stop shooting because that's going to do quite a lot of friendly fire as well. I'm just going to switch these around. Next one, I suppose. I'm gonna turn them to the left so that if they come back we can kill them. We are getting there. All of the shots that are actually missing are kinda of hitting this unit as well. That unit will be gone soon. We'll just be left with the general and after that I can pretty much commit. If I bring my men up to this left side, all of the ones of melee capability, we will just go for the bodyguard. Ah, uh, these actually run out of ammo so they might as well plug bayonets. Go for the melee. Managar. I stop holding formation. Alright, move these in. I think I could have that one run inside the building there. We can just like, instead of engaging the bodyguard in melee, we just go in the building. Shoot him to death from inside. Oh, they're actually moving away from it. Oh, now they're coming back. I was going to say that was smart AI, but uh, never mind, I guess. I will just charge this boy. Our bayonets will absolutely annihilate them. That's it. Heroic victory. Fantastic. That was really, really good. Because that has taken Bristol, and it's also pretty much wiped this army. I'm going to want to repair that. Didn't actually do any damage to the walls. Plus 10% to recovery chance of battle casualties. Nice. And bloody. Minus 1 to morale in battles. Well, it was a heroic victory. So I don't know why we got that trait. <laughs> it could have been so much worse. <laughs> oh, we're pretty close to Vienna already, huh? Uh, I'm, yeah, I'm worried about what sort of stack we're going to see in Munich, if I'm completely honest. Uh, but we have done very well in doing that because what I can now do is probably combine these two forces to take Vienna. And then from Vienna, we take uh, Prisberg here and Zagreb. And then we take out Munich. We're getting very big very quickly. 
We really, really are. Like, taking Prague now as well, especially since they are Protestant, is really, really helpful. I'm just hoping that like more people don't declare war on me, because that would be kind of a pain. Uh, I don't really want to be at war with Austria right now, if I'm completely honest. I mean, maybe I could offer them peace, since we took two settlements from them and destroyed their armies. I could ask them potentially for some regions for peace, but I'll probably figure that out next time, because unfortunately, guys, it has been my time. We are already starting to kind of rampage through Europe. I think we might come under some serious counterattacks soon, uh, particularly from Bavaria. So we might lose our army in Prague. But as long as I'm recruiting behind that, I should be able to stop it in the future. The other thing is I'm probably going to want to start naval recruitment soon. I grab some Indiamen, try and secure some trade, uh, maybe in the regions of the Ivory Coast. Or maybe down in Brazil, something like that. Try and get some of this trade in our favour. That would be cool. Uh, but that is it for now. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.